Welcome back, everybody. Tonight, you probably remember the name Andre Risen. He was big time as a all-pro receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. You might also recall the time that his superstar girlfriend burned down his Alpharetta mansion. Remember mm, that? That happened. Well, yeah, yeah, it did. Now Risen is working on a biopic to be released this spring. Astrid in the ATL learned that as much as we do know about his life, as much as it's played out in the public eye, Astrid, there's still some stuff we don't know. Yeah, he told us that this is from his perspective, his story, his words. I sat down with the NFL great for a real and transparent conversation of this upcoming movie and Andre Risen will he gives me a glimpse into the ups and downs of his career as well as his bumpy high profile relationship. Andre Risen makes the catch. Hoping to put truth to the rumors. You don't know. Andre Risen is coming out with his version of his story. It was a very weird experience. And all of a sudden I fell in love with a female rapper. Ryzen first met Lisa Left Eye Lopez at his birthday party in 1993. She just wasn't a female rapper. She was like uh, one of the num number one artists in the world. She was the L in the Grammy winning trio TLC. Andre and Lisa had a relationship that often turned violent. In 1994, after a heated argument, Lisa started a fire in the football player's multi million dollar home. I start from the beginning, one of the best ever to play football. Thank you. And then, um, for a while, though, the story did not become about football. It became about so many other things. It's just, it, it becomes a melting pot with friends, family members, and everybody has uh, their own choice of decisions that you should make in your life. Mm -hmm. and, and they try to pull you, this, pull you this way, pull you that way. It's a lot to be given to a 20-something-year-old. You know, you were making a lot of money. You were at the height of your success and at the height of your productivity when it comes to being a football player, when it comes to being an athlete, and then you fell in love. And it was tumultuous. I mean, <laughs> it was yeah. rocky. Our whole purpose was to help people. And I think that's why you've seen the entourage that I carried, the entourage that she carried. And um, at the same time, it was our default because we didn't get a chance to really learn each other and love each other as far as what we were concerned about. When you look back at it, you know, it's so easy to obviously love someone so hard, but when you love so hard, you also fight so hard. Did you see how that one fateful night, this <laughs> small argument just blew up in your face? Yeah, uh, matter of fact, I wasn't even there for the argument, you know, and, um, you know, we got a great film coming out, some great, great writers on the film, great producers, and, um, you know, we tend to, to bring the truth to the table. You know. Okay, but there's much more to the man than just his infamous relationship. He promises to give you unfiltered story relationships with him and Deion Sanders and Tupac. And many are calling this one of the most anticipated celebrity films. Foolishly in Love is currently in production and comes out this spring. I mean, it's just fascinating. I forgot just how bad that fire was. It Huge. was just epic. And they, they were together after that. I yeah. mean, it's not like they broke up, you know, right after that arson that kind of plagued her and, and the group TLC. Any blowback? Is he getting any criticism? She's, she died in that car accident, mm -hmm. Lisa Left Eye. Um, Lopez, is he getting any? He's, from what I'm reading, no. He's actually very respectful towards her. He has great memories about her and feels like they were a great love. So he wants to obviously respect her. Okay. We'll get a lot more insight yeah, from his say, side. As soon as we see that, we'll know for sure. Astrid, thank you. Thank you.